just sends chills through my body when they say it's cold because that's the way he was left out in that backyard that day. It is a group no parent wants to be a part of. Survivors of crimes that took their lives of their children. But tonight, they showed up in hopes of finding answers and support from each other. RTV6's Liz Adiola was there as these families met for the first time and joins us live now with more on their call to action. Tonight, those families spoke of the code of silence on the streets as well as the silent treatment they say they feel they're getting from detectives here at police headquarters as months turn to years and their children's murder cases remain unsolved. It's been rough, even though it's going on. Five years. It's still like it was yesterday. The Thanksgiving when Valentina Watkins' son Timothy Hathaway was murdered. Her story among more than a dozen. The pain is real, and I want people always, it's okay that we cry. Unsolved crimes shared within this room alone. Yet leaders from the Ten Point Coalition say there are hundreds in the city of Indianapolis. We have to start networking. We have to start sticking together. The first attempt to do just that was at this survivors meeting hosted by the Ten Point Coalition at 25th Street Baptist Church. Jacqueline Beasley arrived with a picture of her son Dominic, who was killed days after his birthday. And it just sends chills through my body when they say it's cold, because that's the way he was left out in that backyard that day. She and many others in the room shared frustrations about how detectives have handled their child's case. He was doing good at first and then all of a sudden just quit calling so I started calling. Leaving messages they say were never returned but tonight a plan was made to schedule a meeting with prosecutors and the chief of police. It's not going to stop until we stand together and come together and get these leaders to stand behind us and support us so that we can get these criminals off the street. So other parents will never have to become a part of this group. It never is. I mean, you know, you still got to live life to go on, but you, you just never forget. You, you, it's going to always be there regardless. And that was just the first meeting of several that are planned. They plan to meet at least once a month, and they're also working on ways to connect the children left behind after their parents were killed in those crimes. Reporting live downtown, Liz Adiola, RTV6.